My name is Leo Garente. I'm the owner and founder of Junk Depot in Saugus, Massachusetts. Well, I love that dirty water. Oh, Boston, you're my home. Junk Depot is a junk removal company. Where other people see trash, I see an opportunity to make money. Every day we're shoveling. So you got our crew, you know, we got Leo the entrepreneur, kind of keeping everything moving. You got Bobby, he's obviously the monster, you know, he's looking over my shoulder, keeping me safe. And then we got Paul Pasta, a former lawyer, God knows what he is. My wife shaves me. She, she actually shares the shaves your fucking ass. She shares me, <laughs> like a sheep. My fucking stomach's hairier than yours, look at this shit. Well, mine's bigger than all y'all. Yeah! Oh my God. Ah, look at that bitch. Woo! Four. Ah. Four. I can't see the difference. <laughs> How many months now? Everyone's making money in trash. I think it's some about 63% of what we, we would get, we actually recycle. That's so. 80, but go back to school. <laughs> <laughs> Leo, he always sees the bigger picture. He always sees the value in some of this, what I call junk. I really love working with him because he's the kind of guy that can find a way to find an extra dollar in everything we do. Money, 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 money. He's just got that horseshoe rammed directly up his freaking ass. You found an envelope and a chest. Leo, how much were the savings bonds worth? $114,000. I was like, holy shit, we're rich. After cleaning out the Veloso's house, he made a find that he says he couldn't imagine holding on to. $113,954. I know if someone returned $114,000 to me, I'd be passed out on the ground. I almost fell backwards. Bobby, what did your face look like? <laughs> um, obviously the looks. Besides being the, the looker of the group here, I'm obviously pretty athletic. I mean, I'm not afraid to jump head through, head first through a wall. <laughs> Scott, he, Scott's a funny guy, you know. You know he'll, he'll drop into a Speedo and, uh, you know, just get the customer laughing, you know, if they're having a bad day or whatever. What the fuck what? are you doing? Come on, man. What's wrong with you? Come on, man. man. Yeah, I hope you catch a disease in here. I don't know what guy in that right mind up into that, but that dude, he's, he's nuts. He's crazy. <laughs> What's wrong I love with this guy? I love it. Wow, what a, what a moron. I mean, he's like five feet tall. Why don't you jump in there, Frodo? Oh, oh. <laughs> He'll do anything for money. 100 bucks sounds like I can finish that whole thing right now. Whole thing. Barbecue sauce. Oh. You don't, I won't. Cheers. Big ears. Oh, go, 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 yeah! The thing about Paul, you know, he's he's such an airhead sometimes. I don't know if it's because of his age or because all the potty and he did during the 80s, but I mean, he, he can scrub a wet dream. How do, you, how do you tie these things? Like this? That's what I want to do sometimes. The thing about Paul, I can't let him make a decision on his own because he will just screw it up. I used to be an attorney, criminal defense attorney, but now I'm a junk man. I don't know how he was a lawyer, to be honest with you. Oh! <laughs> I get all Paul's fuck ups and I put them on a list and I send him a bill at the end of the month. And I'm always messing up on the job. Every job I go to, there's something that happens wrong. You got to write this <laughs> I need a new job. These guys are so so lazy. They don't they don't do shit. So I had to pick up the slack out of all of them. No! Oh, fucking douchebag! Hey, Bobby. Yeah, yeah. Try this on. Yeah. <laughs> you like size little boy. As long yeah. as I'm taller than you laying down, that's all it counts. <laughs> no. I'm constantly busting his balls and getting this close to get my teeth handed to me. We were in a basement in Lynn, Massachusetts, and Bobby went down there, and there was a spider, and you should have seen him run like a little girl. He almost went through the ceiling. And I was like, ah! I've never seen a six foot six guy scream like a girl like that. I left, I took off, and I was done for the day. I said, Leo, I'll see you tomorrow. Paul, you know, I'm way too fucking pretty for this shit. Yeah, you and me both. The two most important things of my is my children and my business. Oh, they're gonna love this. They're gonna love the wigs, the pink wigs. <laughs> Hi, girls. Hi, Hi. Emma. Hi. You like my hair? Yeah. They're pretty. 
Hey, John, you like my hair? No. Nice. No, you like it? You don't want to do my hair? What do you think? Can you braid my hair? Does that look beautiful? Can you braid my hair? Bye! Bye, Bye. 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 Bye.